Man United fans have had enough. Anti-Glazer and anti-Woodward chants are being heard at games and they won't be stopping anytime soon because Woodward is a man at the centre of it all for the wrong reasons. A money man who has squandered millions over the last few transfer windows as United's vice chairman. A man who has masterminded our downfall over the last four managers. And a man who is more interested in preserving his own self-image than helping the club get back to where we should be. Woodward is a major part of the problem. And we're really hearing the chance now. And deservedly so. And United fans, we need to keep fighting back because until Woodward is gone, until the Glazers are gone, we will not get our United back. Now, I'm sure you've all seen by now, but Ed Woodward this month has decided to hire his own PR advisor in Neil Ashton. And it has spectacularly blown up in his face immediately. And it's great to see. But Woodward can't even hire a PR advisor properly. If you haven't seen who Neil Ashton is, he is the former lead host of the Sunday Supplement on Sky Sports and a former Sun journalist as well. He left all those roles in January to start his own media consultancy firm and United and Woodward are his first clients. This is what Ashton had to say about taking the job itself. He said, part of my role is to re-establish Manchester United. I got to know Woodward a little bit. I discovered that the portrayal of Woodward is not accurate. It's a guy that absolutely loves Manchester United. I want to change perception, not only of him, but the ownership of the club. Now, this is the same Neil Ashton that previously said this about Woodward in a couple of articles that he wrote for The Sun. When speaking about the Glazers, he said backing them is Ed Woodward, who has a disastrous record of squandering United's gazillions. And when talking about Solskjaer, he said that he needs to be put out of his misery by Woodward. This is the same Solskjaer that has been backed by Woodward the whole time. So the real winner here is Neil Ashton. The fact that he's got a PR job for a man who he's previously and publicly slated in the newspapers. Woodward, did you really know that prior to hiring him? Because it wouldn't have been very hard to find that out. You've got to type his name into Google and your name. And you would have found out that the man you have hired has previously been the man slating you. But as soon as Ashton was hired, all United fans knew that positive PR press was coming. There's going to be some fluff in the newspapers that's going to make the situation seem a whole lot better than it is. And did they really expect fans to believe it and not call it out for the bullshit it is? Take this piece by Neil Custis, who was always on the Sunday Supplement, a good old chum of Neil Ashton, saying that not only defending Woodward, but actually blaming the Glazers and pointing the fingers upstairs for where the blame should lie. That in itself is a very interesting tactic because Woodward is changing. Woodward is under pressure. And the United fans should be proud of the fact that we are putting this pressure on him. He is feeling it. And none more so than with the chants that we've heard. The anti-Woodwoods, anti-Glazers chants that are kicking off. Because as soon as they happened, we saw, again, more chums in the press coming out and saying, oh, look, it's a disgrace by United fans. They shouldn't be singing it. Clearly another move by Neil Ashton to try and stop these chants from being sung. But again, it's an absolute PR gaffe because instead of fans stopping, we all know that Woodward is hearing these chants now, that Woodward does not like these chants now and that he wants them to stop. So what's going to happen? They're going to get louder and louder and louder until Woodward is no longer at the club. The fact that fans now know that it's getting under your skin, Ed, you've made it 10 times worse by making that public. So thanks very much for that. And another point I want to make here about those chants is we've been singing those for years about City fans. I didn't hear Neil Ashton coming out and defending City fans and saying we were a disgrace. All of a sudden, as soon as it's Ed Woodward, it's a disgrace. Mm, what a happy coincidence. But as well as all that PR guff, there's been this piece trying to actually say, look, maybe Woodward is doing a good job. The value of United has gone up. And it's so easy to prove that this is just completely unrelated to Woodward in any way, shape or form. If you look at the value of United as a stock in the last two years, it hasn't gone up at all. Woodward is failing to improve the value of United. And this was in a direct response 
United's surge in price was in a direct response to City announcing that the City Football Group had sold 10% to an investor for 500 million. That caused a market inflation and United's value went up as a consequence. He had nothing to do with Woodward. So again, the PR spin is incredible, but so easy to prove to be bullshit. Woodward's PR stunt here to try and help his own image has backfired immediately. And it really is wonderful to see. And all fans now are firmly pointing the fingers at Woodward, at the Glazers. Now, of course, Solskjaer's got his problems, but they are the bigger problem. Even Gary Neville is properly speaking about it in the press now. He's saying, I can't change the ownership. No one can, but I'm struggling to understand why the ownership have persisted in trusting that management team to oversee that team that Fergie left. If you don't lose your job for essentially overseeing that investment and wage bill in terms of what the club needed to do for a number of few years now, he's saying something is really, really wrong. They're not doing it. And it's a mess. And Gary is spot on. And it's good to hear him vocalising that. He's still not naming names, but at least he's speaking out about the just the disgusting mismanagement at United. And as I said, Solskjaer, he's clearly got his faults and plenty of them. But he's not the problem at United. That is Ed Woodward. That is the Glazers. And these chants, the fact that Woodward has hired a PR advisor to try and improve his own image, it goes to show that the pressure, they're feeling it. The Glazers, they're still going to make a ton of money when they leave. Hopefully that's sooner rather than later. But Woodward himself is trying to protect his image. And he is doing a horrendous job. At doing it, of course so, because you can't protect the image of a man who has so catastrophically failed in his job and continues to do so. Now, with Woodward, for me, any man, in any woman, can fail in their job. That's not what United fans are angry with Woodward for. What we're angry with is the fact that Woodward, despite all of his failures, still comes out Say the interview we had with Andy Mitten in United We Stand. He said, I'm the right man for the job. Year after year after year of failures in every single level of management on and off the field. Yes, commercially he's been successful. In the last few years, United's value has not gone up. Commercially we're struggling now too. But Woodward continues to say he's the right man for the job and refuses to step away and is damaging and hurting United. And he doesn't care because it's all about him, his power, his image, him. He is a man who puts his own self-interest ahead of the club. And that is why those chants will never go away. That is why he is such a major problem. Woodward has got nothing to do with the fact that you're failing at the job. Well, it actually has now. But it's more the fact that you just won't admit it. Won't get help in. And refuse to budge because you're a self-centred self-interested individual and that is hurting United and that's why you have got to get out of the club.